So hello everyone, I am Abdul Karim Bouskri from uh, OKM Observatory, Kade University in Morocco. My presentation is about advancement in satellite observation and contribution from OKM Observatory. I am very sorry I couldn't reach my visa to I couldn't uh, have my visa to reach you in La Palma. So I'm so sorry. So so as you discussed previously in the previous pre presentation, our our context is to uh, to avoid the problem for astronomy observation in uh, light pollution uh, with the effect of the mega constellation becoming uh, as i say light pollution and also the i will i will uh, uh, in the context we will uh, talk about space traffic is becoming very difficult because the number of the satellites and also the debris is becoming important in the sky. So, what is the space debris? The space debris refers to no functional human made objects and fragments in orbit around the Earth. It includes the found, the found, the found, the found satellite, rocket stage, and smaller debris. So, uh, our observatory platform. Our observatory platform is uh, in. Do you see my screen now? Do you see my screen in yes, presentation yes. format? OK, our observation platform, uh, as I see, is in OKM Observatory that uh, we are using uh, different telescopes in the visible band, in the V-band, to observe and track the satellites. Uh, the strategy of observation uh, is uh, is with uh, firstly with the planification of of observation we made a website uh, application to make uh, and to planify the observation as you see in the form in the blue uh, side we can put all the information about the ge geographical position of the observatory site and also the latitude of sun to uh, at the time of the to launch the observation and also the acceptable uh, latitude of the satellites in the orange side we have the the category of the starling uh, of the satellite sorry and you can find different category and also the observability the observability if the we put visible that means we have all the data all the information about satellites and we can uh, directly know if it's visible uh, or not. Also, we can. Uh, the second option is in the field. It means that the satellite pass below uh, in the top of the observatory. Sorry, in the top of the observatory without uh, knowing is if it is observable or uh, or not. So. And also we have the start date and the final date that you can put in the forum and the maximum magnitude accepta acceptable to generate the planification. So the result of the generate the planification is is in the described in the table uh, as you see in your screen. So we have a different color for each color. We have, for example, one satellite. And we have uh, the magnitude and uh, uh, the distance, magnitude and the uh, per air mass, the phases, right, right ascension, declination, and time of observation and latitude. So we can exploit this uh, this planification to show the for or exploit on in the directory of the planification, different planification that you made as I say, the two line element at the time of the planification and the category and the date. Also, we can find the, the folder uh, that contain all the uh, CSV of the planification table and also the information about the magnitude maximal accepted that you put in the uh, configuration of the planification. Also, uh, our strategy for observation is involved to capture in various frame with the, the same exposure time while tracking the satellite in different region of the sky uh, from rising to set uh, of the satellite. 
So uh, uh, after we uh, after observation, we do the some data analysis and processing. So firstly, we filter the images with accurately identifying the desired streak uh, and false streaks, the good streak of the satellite that we need to make uh, analysis and also eliminate and distorted or incomplete streak in the image. So we do astrometry and pho photometry with adding the world coordinate system to each image. And after we do some uh, photometry to uh, estimate the magnitude of the satellite, as you see, in we have different stars in uh, Richard in the Gaia catalog data realized too and uh, the flux of each star in the image and the, the flux of the integrated flux of the satellite. And uh, we have also the magnitude of the satellite estimated as 4.7 magnets. So we have also some uh, Starlink generation to observation, as you see Starlink 26 to 63, and also star satellite Starlink 3010. We have also made it all the analyze, analysis uh, uh, data. So why we need why we we need to analyze this data is to generate the three line element. The three line element, as described in the image below, contain two line element, uh, and the first line is uh, contain the name of satellite, and uh, we we are interested in the second uh, line of the two line element that contain all the elements. Uh, of orbit element of satellite as inclination right ascension of the ascending node eccentricity argument of perigee mean anomaly and mean motion. So what why we need uh, to uh, describe it and calculate the, the orbital element as I see the orbital element is semi axis major average orbit size for example eccentricity as I see. Previously, inclination and argument of Perigee is described in the figure of, in the left of screen. So, uh, why we need to? So we need to generate and calculate the orbital element. So to to calculate the orbital element, we need to calculate the state vector of satellite and the velocity vector. So. When we calculate the velocity vector, we can propagate the calcul, uh, the calculation, and calculate the specific angular momentum, and also the inclination and the, the right ascension of the ascending node, uh, and and the eccentricity and the argument of perigee or uh, the true anomaly as uh, the equation as described in the screen in front of you. So. Uh, we have also made some uh, calculation using uh, some methods, as Gibbs method, for example, to determine the uh, the element, uh, the orbital element. Uh, for, for using the Gibbs method, we need to detect the satellite in different position, three position, uh, R1, R2, and R3 in different time. Why we need to detect? Uh, why we need three position? We need three position that we can express, for example, R2 in function on the R1 and R2 with different coefficients C1 and C3, for example. And we can propagate the, calculate, the calculation to eliminate the C1 and C3 in the calculation and to found infinitely the velocity expression in function of uh, mass, uh, reduced mass, and uh, N and D, N and D and S, as described in the equation uh, uh, in front of you. So uh, we have the example of two line element uh, generating with the other two line elements. We, we, have to, we are in the phase of the test of our uh, script. So uh, we have using the two line elements, all unknown, another two line element to generate a new line element. So we in uh, for Atlas Century, for example, as you see, we have uh, generated the the orbital element with some variation and some difference between uh, the first uh, uh, two line elements. So 
In conclusion and outlook, we have professionally conducted satellite observation and master image processing and um, pre-processing. We have also established the fil filtering pipeline to identify image containing relevant satellite trail streak. Our efforts have commenced in generation orbital parameter for the observed satellites. However, achieving higher precision remain a, priori a priority of this stage. So in outlook, we have uh, increased the, pre uh, we, we need to increase the precision of orbital parameter determination, establish automated tracking to ensure continuous data acquisition, automate the filtering and processing pipeline, incorporate machine learning for real time predicting and adjustment of orbital parameter. And thank you very much.